Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to the How Fix It channel. Today, I've got a repair tutorial for you. A step-by-step -step guide on how to take apart the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I'll also share tips and tricks on how to restore sticking or not working buttons. And of course, reassembly is included in this guide. So, grab your tools and let's dive right in. First things first, let's gather the tools you'll need for this repair. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, and a plastic opening tool. These tools will ensure a smooth disassembly process without causing any damage to the controller. I've included links on where to buy all the necessary tools in the description. I also advise using a magnetic mat throughout the disassembly process. While disassembling, manage each screw's placement to ensure accurate reassembly, and you don't have to worry about the screws getting lost. They will all securely adhere to the magnetic mat. Now that we have our tools ready, it's time to start the disassembly process. Start by removing the housing parts. Using the Phillips head screwdriver, carefully remove the screws. Remember, keep track of each screw, as they can vary in size. Gently insert the plastic opening tool between the controller's seams and carefully work your way around. Now we have access to the battery and it's time to remove it. These two holes will not fit a standard bit, so you will need a long head screwdriver to remove these two screws. With the screws removed, it's time to open the controller. Be patient and take your time, ensuring not to force anything because the two parts are still connected by a flex cable. First, open the connector locking tab, then disconnect the flexible cable. If you're here for troubleshooting, this is the section for you. I'll guide you through common issues like sticking buttons or joystick drift. Let's begin with the left, right, ZR, and ZL buttons. Stay tuned as we address these problems and share tips on fixing them. This conductive film is responsible for the operation of buttons. If this graphite coating has poor contact, the buttons stop working. Clean this coating using a cotton swab to restore the button's function. Please note, I do not recommend cleaning the graphite contacts with isopropyl alcohol. Any liquids containing isopropyl alcohol may wash off the graphite layer and thus damage the contact coating. Just clean it with a cotton swab. This silicone pad is the second part of the button mechanism. The silicone pad also has a black conductive coating that is in contact with the graphite contacts on the film. In the same way, use a cotton swab to clean these silicone pads or wash them under water to fix sticking buttons.
After cleaning the contacts, if the buttons still don't work, this black contact coating on the film may have stopped transmitting a signal when the button is pressed. To fix this issue, you need to replace the conductive film. In the description, I've left a link to the replacement conductive film for a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Now, go to the control panel with the buttons. Remove the two screws and you can remove the control button board. On the control button board, you can see contact points that come into contact with the graphite coating on the silicone pad. To restore the button functionality, wipe these contacts with a cotton swab. The capture, minus, plus and home buttons have a physical mechanism. If one of the buttons does not work, you have to replace the mechanism but this repair requires soldering experience. Alternatively, you can replace the control button board. I've left a link to the replacement control button board in the description below. Let's move on to removing all the buttons from the front panel. If you spill some sweet liquid on your controller and the buttons begin to stick, you can wash the panel, buttons, and silicone pads to fix the buttons. This is also the perfect time to clean any dust or debris that may have accumulated. The removal and subsequent replacement of the left or right stick are easy processes. You need to pull it up, and the stick can be easily removed. If your stick is noticeably worn, it's time to replace it. The next step is removing the main board of the controller. Remove four screws and the diode diffuser. The vibration motor is glued to the controller body. Using tweezers, carefully separate the two vibration motors from the housing. You can now remove the main board from the controller body. If your controller has issues with drifting, a non-functioning vibration motor, or a faulty charging port, this is the section for you. The most common controller problem is joystick drifting. An equally common issue is a broken charging port. Sometimes vibration motors fail. All three of these issues involve one difficulty. Each module is soldered to a printed circuit board, and this repair requires a soldering iron and some soldering experience. If you have such experience, you will find links to a replacement joystick module and USB Type-C connector port in the description. But if you have not encountered soldering before, I will leave a link to a replacement mainboard for a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. To completely disassemble the controller, all that remains is to remove the two screws and take off the last three parts of the housing. Well done! At this step, we have completely disassembled the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. I have included links to all the replacement parts and modules that will help you successfully restore your controller. For more information, check out the description. Now that we've passed all the steps and made any necessary fixes, it's time to put everything back together. Follow the reassembly steps, ensuring each component is securely in place.
And there you have it, folks. A comprehensive guide on how to disassemble and troubleshoot your Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more do-it-yourself repair guides. Thanks for joining us today. See you in the next video. Happy gaming.